One of the challenges of taking perfect pictures of pets is that they don't always like to pose. Now that's a challenge for any kind of photographer, especially for a mobile photographer. So I'm here with this beautiful pooch chip to try and show you some ways to get the perfect pet pictures. When we're taking portraits of pets, it's important to remember that eyes are the window into the soul, and that's as true with humans as, as it is with animals. So when we're taking a picture, just as we are of Chip here, there's a few things we want to try and make sure we do. It's to try and attract his attention, try and direct his attention around to where we want it. Now, we've put some toys on the chair because we like this background here. He's very comfortable there as well, which is very important. And then just around the camera, I've got some of his favourite treats. Just so we're not teasing him, what we're doing is just helping him to look where we might want him to look. And what that's doing is keeping his eyes nice and wide open because he's quite excited by these. It's not just about the eyes, of course, it's about the ears as well. Ears on a dog can be so expressive if they prick up when they get excited or alert about something. So there's a few different angles that we can try. Now, with humans, sometimes if we're doing a selfie, we might look up a little bit, it just accentuates the, the, the top of the head. I'm gonna try that here with Chip to see what effect that gives us. Hey Chip, hey Chip, good boy, good boy. And just try it to the side as well, because the nose, the muzzle of a dog's also very beautiful to have in shot, so we get that slight profile. And the other angle I'm going to experiment with is looking up. Now, how does that look compositionally? This one, this works really well for me. And I can see that the camera here is just drawing a little yellow box around the dog's face. So I know that it's recognising the dog, getting it in focus. But I think that's a lovely composition. Good boy. And it's very simplest. A portrait can be a foreground and a background and our, our subject of our portrait is in the foreground, that doesn't mean we should forget about the background as well. So, Chip is currently in a place where he feels very comfortable at the moment. What we've done is to move Chip's bed away from the wall where it was quite a flat and quite a cluttered background. And I've put it in the middle of the floor here, just with this doorway behind us. And what that does is give me a foreground that is simple, it's got Chip relaxed very prominently in the middle of it. He's got a background that doesn't distract but still has some interest as well. And I'm nice and down low so I'm at the same level as his eyes. And what I'm also trying here is portrait mode now. Some phones have this, some phones don't. This one does. And that's just blurring out the background for me and helping to focus my eyes and attention on the foreground here. And sleepy, sleepy Chip. Good boy. 